we got a big weekend coming up with UFC 300 right around the corner. We have matchups set to make history in the octagon. This is one you do not want to miss. I've teamed up with DraftKings Sportsbook and we're gonna bring you closer to the action. Right now, all new customers who bet just $5 will get $150 in bonus bets instantly. Download the DraftKings app right now. Sign up using my code SUNNY. DraftKings, the crown is yours. Stay in on the action and use your bets for DraftKings same game parlays for a shot at an even bigger payout. Combine multiple bets together from the same fight, including total rounds and method of victory. If sports betting is not yet available in your state, you can still join in on all the fun with DraftKings Daily Fantasy and have the shot to win bigger prizes. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app right now. New customers sign up using the promo code SUNNEN. Bet just $5 and you will get 150 in bonus bets instantly. That's promo code SUNNEN only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Paulo Costa let the cat out of the bag. He gave us some inside scoop. And this is Paulo talking about Paulo, but he said that he was offered Jared Cannon here. And that he said yes. Now, I want to stay on that. Jared Kanner, this is off the top of my head, but he has not fought since June of last year. If I'm wrong, it was since July of last year. So, and I've never really known where he's been at. I know that many people say that he had an injury and that's why he's been out. I do know that, but I would remind those people that he's been a backup fighter. So I don't know how much, I don't know that the injury is accurate. And by the way, if it is, I'm not attempting to begrudge or undo it. I'm, I'm just sharing with you that where is Jared Cannon here, man, is a very meaningful name to 185 pounds. Cannon here beat Strickland just by example. Strickland in his next fight, and if I'm wrong, just one in between. There was one in between. He had the Russian in between. He went and became world champion. So we can't, we can't even begin to pretend that Cannon here isn't very relevant. He is. But where's he been? Okay, great. Well, Paul Acosta shined a little light on it. Gotta put him, put those together. All right. And Paulo said yes. Paulo said yes to it. Okay. Well, a couple days goes by. Paulo says he hears back from the UFC. Says, we're not putting you with Cannon here. We're putting you with Sean Strickland. Okay. A couple more days goes by. He finds out he's not going to be fighting Sean Strickland. Sean didn't want to do the fight. Now, Paulo threw this out there, and in the vein that Paulo put it out there, I'm not sure that Paulo knew he was right. I think Paulo was out there basically, right, you call a guy chicken, you say a guy's scared. I, I realize that's, that's playground rules, but the, the things that work on the playground work all the way up into the octagon. But I believe that Paulo thought he was trolling. I believe he thought, I'm just going to go to the media and I'm going to say that Sean's scared. That they offered, I accepted, and he said no. Now, maybe Paulo had that information. But I don't think he did. Well, it turned out he was right. Sean Strickland said he was right. Sean Strickland came out and said, yes, I was offered Paulo. And I did not like the terms. And I'm not doing it for those terms. I'll fight Paulo. That's not the issue. I have, and he talked about what his reservations are. So before we get to that, I would like you to leave me a comment down below. And if you're a big fan of this page, I am going to put up, but I just, I haven't done it yet. I'm going to put up a poll because I, I would be curious of that round robin, how you would like to see it. I'm not going to give you the option of removing Paulo and getting Cannon Air and Sean in there because that'd be a rematch. And I've never heard any of you asking for the rematch. But I do want to know, would you rather see Paulo in there with Sean, or would you rather see Paulo in there with Cannoneer, which would also represent the return of Cannoneer. And I think that that is something that many of you have been waiting for and kind of wondering where he's at. So my guess is that Cannoneer is healed. I don't know that I believe that he was ever as hurt as some of the rumors, only because he was the backup fighter, right, in Australia. He was the one that went out there in case Sean couldn't make the walk against Izzy. And the fact, why, why, the, reason I'm, the reason I'm dwelling on this, it, it's hard to get answers. Jared Cannon here has kind of got a new stick where he's, he's a man of silence. 
I'm having a, I have a hard time getting to the bottom of things with him sometimes. So if Paulo Costa was told he's going to have Cannoneer, and then all of a sudden he gets called back and says, no, it's not Cannoneer, it's going to be Sean, does that mean that Cannoneer couldn't do the fight because I'm wrong and he is, in fact, injured? Eh, that's possible, too. So I'm asking you. I know that some of you know. I will read the comments, but fill me in. Who do you want to see Paulo Costa fight the most? And where is Jared Cannonier?